Here we go, folks. Yo. We're here. Happy Fourth of July, America's birthday. Woo! Sorry, Native Americans. <laughs> we Mark. fucked up. Yeah. Not even two seconds. Oh, there. sorry. How the hell are you there? We got Mateo Lane here, everybody. Hola, everyone. Hola. Happy Fourth of July. Yes. This, this is a skinny bottle. Oh yeah. This is a little. This is a little Riesling we're we're rocking with. I just. I, you said to bring wine. I just pulled whatever was uh, cold in the fridge. Bring so. it on. Hey, gracias. Cheers. Cheers to the uh, colonizers. I can't cheers a Diet Coke. It's bad luck. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe in that shit, but sure. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, that is sweet as pie. You know what? I just it. realized this is dessert wine. God damn it's it. It's very sweet, Too but it's sweet. damn good. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's too sweet. Oh, my God. It's like <laughs> Welch's grape juice. <laughs> oh, man. You swallow. <laughs> man, this is too much. I'm going to spit. I think What this is, is a dessert sweet. wine? I don't understand. Like yeah, a like, wine f replacing dessert? No, you have it with dessert. It's supposed to enhance the dessert. Mm, like, it's it, too sweet. I agree. It's too much. Too much. Well, you loved it a second ago. I had another one, and I hated it. All right. Let's... Uh... <laughs> I mean, it's good, but it's like drinking a, a Snickers. Is he getting more wine glasses? Uh-oh, -uh, we'll get him too. Do we have more wine glasses? Sorry. We vetoed this. It's too sweet. This is the dessert yeah, I mean, one. This, I fucked up. You could, a pedophile should use this. They'd clean up. <laughs> yeah. This is the court a little, a little uh, fancy kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little Lord Fauntleroy there. A little Fondleroy. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get his little pants off quick. All right. Hey, how about that Kevin Spacey? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Kevin Spacey? Didn't he do some interview or something? He cried on Pierce We've Morgan. We've been talking about what? this a lot lately. First of all, Pierce Morgan is out of his mind, but he cried. <laughs> what did he cry about? He's like, I don't have any money. My house is being foreclosed. He had a nice place in Baltimore. It was like right on the water. I yeah. Know, I know How many of his wrong. houses? All of them or just that, one that of them? That was his exactly. main house. That was like where he lived because I think since House of Cards. Uh -huh. So he, he spent all of his money hit in four years. Supposedly. He's, what? I On know. what? But he's also a great actor, so then you don't know if he's acting with yeah. that little speech. And who lives in Baltimore? You got all the money in the world, you move to Baltimore. Stavros. Yeah, but he's from there, at least, and he, he looks Baltimore. Well, he was filming House of Cards in, in I think, D.C., so uh, I think he would want to be nearby. Got it, got it. Uh-oh, we might need a corkscrew here as well. I think if you're losing a house in Baltimore, it is really bad. But also, Kevin, like, what did you want? Yeah, like, if you lose you a house in Baltimore, where do you move? Yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah. That's right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Uh but yeah, he got off. He'll he'll be back in movies, I think. Yeah. No one is more infuriating to watch than Pierce Morgan giving an interview because he just it's just like he over -talk, he talks yes. over everybody and then you're like, Why are you even having guests on your show? He steamrolls and then he interrupts and That's know, most podcasts. That's true. That's most people you're just like, Did I have to come in? I know, I know. <laughs> it's like Christopher Hitchens went on Fox once and they kept talking over him. He was like, well, why don't you remind me to, uh, to come back on your show so you can do all the talking? <laughs> it's true. It's like you got 24 hours news access. He's on for two minutes and you're talking over him. It's like, yeah. what is this? He was also way smarter than any of those guys I mean, on those yeah. shows. Jerry Faldwell, he said uh, when Jerry Faldwell died, he was going on about how much she didn't like him. And they were like, but he's a Christian man and blah, blah, blah. And then Christopher goes, look, I'll put it this way. If he was given an enema, he could be buried in a matchbox. Ooh, so good. He was Man. fucking. He was quick, and he and he was oh, and of course hated him. But he was. Oh, well, he'd go on those. There was a few. You'd see them back down, which was kind of fun. Yeah. You see a host be like, oh, "Let me go around that," and they'd go at other people like Hannity. Guys like that are such bullies. But Bill O'Reilly, guys like that, they would get him, and they and they'd be like. I'm going to tread carefully. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to. It's like arguing with somebody who knows everything. Exactly. And he was so charming and drunk, you know? And he was Black smooth. label. He was a Johnny Walker black Oh, guy. really? Thank what did they you. say? Someone asked him, what's your favorite thing in the world? And he goes, crowing at the misfortune of others. Ooh. I was like, oh, my God. What a vicious man. Great sense. He's so British. That, I love him and of... Fran Lebowitz, and I don't I think they Fran liked Fran. each other, and but they're the exact same to they're me. They're too similar. They clash. Yeah, I think We so. know people like that, though. We're like, you two should like each other. Right. But they How don't. How many of those people like that? Totally. Cheers, totally. Hey, mom, Hopefully this uh, is better. I'm sorry for the first round. Should I can be. already tell it's going to be better. Oh, that's nice. That's smooth. That's, that's very good. nice. Get a get a whirl that's of that good. there, Laney. Hmm. Go. Okay. Who fell? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it broke too. Oh, jeez. This is Natty. Might have a been little Bill Natty Hicks. wine. Oh yeah, it feels very. I always know Natty wines from um, 
Aziz when I was on the road with Aziz. Uh, yeah. He turned me on to it. Yeah, he was like, I wouldn't have known. I'm like, I didn't do natty wine. Natty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I he, forgot that we were like touring for a long time with each other on that bus. Do you know what's funny? We did. You guys did a bus with Aziz? Yeah. We did. Wow. And Mateo and I opened for Aziz at the Chicago Theater. And then like <sighs> two years later, did guest spots on each other's shows back to back nights. And Woo! Chicago theater. By the way, the experience of that was so funny because I, when I got I when I do shows on the road, I get there at five. I do the sound check. I lay everything out. I do the lights and this and that. Blah blah. I want to relax. I put on music. And then so when Sam came, I said after the show, I go, Sam, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you at five o'clock. He goes, No, seven thirty. I'm like, The show starts at seven thirty. Yeah, I don't know. That's and just lame. shows up. And at one point, it's the Chicago theater. Sam's first time doing it. Sells it out. I said, Do you want to take a picture? He's like. Yeah, should I take a picture? I'm like, yes, Sam. I don't do that. You what? should. It's well, a great moment. Instagram, you guys do it on stage. I feel weird, man. I do I'm too. Do it. I don't know. I do it because you know what? I want to remember. Because sure. sometimes you do. It sounds so crazy, but when you're touring, touring, you forget. Yes. But the, I was just in uh, Columbus doing a theater, and I was backstage. I was looking around, and I was like. Oh, I opened for Aziz here. And then I remember in the green room, you and I were having a conversation. Who would you rather live on an island with? Oh, hey. There she oh is. Oh, my God, the there. king. It's King Jufri. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You already had the joke, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, said Joffrey earlier. <laughs> Look at that. It's the Burger King, everybody. Good to have you there. Oh, this is adorable. A July 4th extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> You know, America, known for our royalty. Yeah. It's very fitting. The crown actually looks good. You look, this looks like good for you. Yeah, I think. Maybe I'll, you think I should? Keep it. <laughs> I, should I think keep this it? should be your new look. Queer eye for the straight guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> that show. That, oh, God. We're going to make a joke and, and Ronald's going to go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those uh, the that Chicago theater, that's a great venue. I'm there in uh, the winter. Oh. It's great. I love it. And Chicago's a great city. Great city, and Aziz had a, he had a fine taste. Like he liked nice meals and that. oh, that's the best part about opening for Aziz exactly. is that you get to do these big rooms and then you go to all these like really nice restaurants. Yes, yeah, and everyone gained like seven pounds. Yeah, I, I remember coming back and being like, I feel like shit. <laughs> This is it's like it's like the way Bert is with booze, Aziz was with fine food. Uh, yeah, I'd rather the fine food. <laughs> True. I can't imagine being in the middle of Bert Kreischer's tour. I would be like, well, how did I?" You have to here? party with him, right? Yeah, yeah. Like in the contract. <laughs> I'd be like, "Am I at Bear Pride?" <laughs> like, it just seems so. <laughs> so if you don't drink, you can't open for him. No, Soder was on the tour. All right, and a lot of people didn't drink. Bobby Soda, Soda, Soda was doing other drugs. He was smoking with <laughs> yeah. Jelly Roll, and as long as you're doing something bad you gotta get some <laughs> vice in there i'm so boring on tour i just like i show up my opener you do light sound have a meal like a chicken he brought a right personal backstage. trainer on the tour who did bird well he, he has he looks he's good doing now. like ten thousand seats i mean it's like he can afford a person no trainer. i'm saying there's ways to be healthy on the tour. oh i see i see I see. Yeah. actually upsetting he's like I, sometimes i'm like oh this guy's fatter than me I feel good about it and then they get thinner Right, and it really fucks up your whole, you know. I know. Yeah, he looks I need, good. Bert yeah, looks he, good right he now. went to the other side. He's he does. <laughs> well, he had to. He I've been called a, f a fat Bert Kreischer lately. That's oh, that's no, Bert's successful. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you, you had a great point though recently to me. He got really mad, Ron, and he said, uh, "Oh, no, don't name names." <laughs> well, no, well, people who do Ozempic. Yeah, he's like, well, this is like a guy who's fatter than me. And he just did a drug, and now he's thinner than me. Yeah, he's right. thinner than me because he was fatter than me. That's yes. the reason he's now thinner than me. Good point. That's the reason Bobby Kelly is now thinner than me. Right, right. Well, you, you said don't name names, and immediately... <laughs> As king, well, Bobby. I, I, the king is getting to my head. I'm like, yeah. I, can, I can do whatever the is fuck Bert, I want. Is <laughs> No. He was. Oh, was he? he was. No, no, he got the old school thing, the oh. uh, the staple. A tapeworm. Uh, <laughs> the he can took a cancer diet. Just took a tapeworm. <laughs> uh, he, he got a, a um, it, right? uh, the stomach stapling, whatever. Oh, Bobby stomach. did. What? You talking about Bobby? Uh, I thought you said Obama did. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Obama yeah. is on Ozempic. Yeah, yeah Bobby no, got... is I, the Bert. I, I thought he was like on a health. Oh, Bert. I don't know about Bert. I assume he just was training. Yeah. I think he did Ozempic for a hot minute, but now he's training and he's uh, he had a health Strong. scare. I think so well, he had to really. Well, that's the thing. You down. can't trust... just one. <laughs> <laughs> this week. <laughs> now that people lose weight, you can't trust them anymore. You don't know if they're secretly on Ozempic or not. That's true. It, it like ruins, and then they'll say they're not, but you're like, I don't know. You right, know what I mean? Right. Right. So it's, it makes everything. Kind 
kind of suspicious. Just about every lady I know is on it. Really? What? Oh, yeah. Really? I, I know two women. But, uh, <laughs> your wife and your mom are on yeah. Olympic? <laughs> yeah. They're not comedians. Like, every non-comedian lady I know is, is on it. Yeah, because the comedians are open about it. That's true. Who are on it. They're totally open about it. Yeah. Some people are open about it. I think Oprah was open about it. Oh, really? She was yeah. on it? Yeah, she was on it. But she says I had medical, some other bullshit term of saying I'm doing Ozempic. Right. Like a medical reason being that she's fat. See? <laughs> <laughs> that is a health reason. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm trying to get a little fatter so that the side effects of Zempic are less, less dangerous than me being fat. That makes sense. Some say I could already probably do it, but sure. I think another 20 pounds... And then the thyroid cancer worry of Ozempic uh, side effects uh, is less dangerous than the actual heart attack I could possibly that's have. That's a great way to put it. And do we even know the side effects yet? It's so new that no one really knows what's going on. In there. Well, it's like diarrhea and it's Everything like, has diarrhea. Uh, yeah, that is true, actually. Yeah, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, it's Tracy Ricky Morgan Ricky did it? Did it become diarrhea. Tracy Mor Morgan. That's one of the side effects. <laughs> Sharon Osbourne did oh, it. And she, oh. she said she did it too much and she can't get the weight back on oh wow Chelsea, yeah, she must feel pretty good I don't looking. Think Chelsea did she it. wakes up every morning next to Ozzy she's like I feel pretty healthy yeah. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people fitter than me are getting it well it's a precautionary like I don't want to get fat like a so prophylactic oh, yeah. of getting fat it's yeah. prep too late for me it's prep it's the prep <laughs> <of Preemptive. laughs> let me nip it in the butt early yeah, everybody's on it. You see, look at this. Yeah. Whoa! Are we pretty. sure these people are on it, or is this just like a website? I guess it's today.com. This is like celebrity net worth. It's right. like completely accurate. right. All the people I know on it are not fat. They're doing it to to curb. Like, Charles Barkley's on it. He's he's fat. He and Shaq, I think, both took it. Shaq really? took it. Yeah. Oh wow! Billy, uh, who is that? Is that? Judy? No, Billy <laughs> Jean King, who I met. I met her. Really? Yeah. She's she was a great leader. Oh, God, we really sc we're scraping the bottom of the barrel when we get to fucking, Who's what's his guy? name? John Goslin. Never heard of him. Yes, the Gosling member, John and Kate Gosling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Him. Uh, wow, he should put that in his sack so he yeah. stops making kids. <laughs> got eight kids. Enough's enough. <laughs> eight kids is too much. That's... I'm just going to, maybe eight kids at different times, but eight kids all the same age at once. Yeah, who, I don't even high. know at different times. That's fucking rough, dude. Who do you think you are? Nick Cannon? <laughs> Slow down. He's got, got like 18. Oh, that's How many does he have? He's got like 11. Yeah, that's Pull Nick Cannon. Dude, when, 11 kids. You know, Nick Cannon, um, he went, it was like the day that Russia invaded Ukraine, Ukraine and I was on a flight and I had a few drinks in me and I just well. saw that Nick Cannon popped into Caroline's. It was like, Nick Cannon came by tonight and I was like, I tweet, quote tweeted and wrote, can't we get any good news today? <laughs> I just immediately, eight minutes after Nick Cannon follows you, I'm like, <gasps> oh boy. And... Uh, I, I know how he feels about Jews already. I know. So, so that was his way of being like Jew. <laughs> right. Because right. he can't write it to me because he's right. on NBC. Right, right. But him just following me was like, Jew. You wow. know what list he's putting you in on, <laughs> yeah. his, Twitter, on his Twitter thing. Yeah. Definitely. He's like an anti Semite who's producing so many anti Semitic children. It's like Ooh. really part of this new anti Semitic wave. <laughs> Good you know? point. He's an anti Semite. He, he's telling that to like his 42 kids. Right. And he was one before it was cool. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was in the beginning. He was an <laughs> oh, he, he would just have like these weird propaganda people on his show and stuff. Oh, I, I don't really? think he was actually. He said, no, he did say some stuff about Jews, but I don't think he's actually. Uh, smart enough to actually be anti-Semitic. I don't think he really thought it through enough sure. to know what he... I, you have to have a little intelligence to be right. like I just can't believe that he married Mariah Carey and had, it just seems so like... Yeah, you're such... You're the biggest Mariah fan. Yeah, I just... I mean, that was sort of when like... That's when the sh the tides changed. Yeah. Mariah was on top of the world and then she married Nick Cannon and we just... <sighs> Yeah, that, that but she got two good kids. She's really her kids are cute and they're okay. great and they tour together. He's and, a handsome guy. Yeah, he's Whoa. a handsome guy. And Mariah's like a. I know this is gonna sound shocking, but she's she's a hot she's, lady. No, she's a great mom. Like oh. she got the kids on tour. They are all, like they're dancing and creating music and they've got good people around them. So like she's doing a good job. I don't all know right. so much about Nick. Yeah, well, good for her. And she's banking on that Christmas money. Are you saying oh, Mariah she Carey makes so much money crazy. that Christmas? Are you saying he's bringing her down? Is that what you're saying? Or yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. Oh. Okay. I was. I don't know how anyone interpreted Wait. that any other way besides saying Nick Cannon. Yeah, is that worse to you than the anti-Semitism? 
I don't. That's a tough call. <laughs> as a as a lamb, as a, as a Jew, it's also a tough call. Yeah. I, I gotta say, he's... As someone interested in success, yeah, you're like I don't know. <laughs> no, but that Christmas, that Christmas song really. Oh yeah, it is a good song. Set for life. I get cynical uh, the first couple times I hear, it, but then after like a few more holiday season, I'm like, it is a good fucking. They, Christmas they did a song. thing. They were showing like a uh, there at some bar and someone was DJing, but it was packed, right? And so they're playing all this music, da da da, and, and you can see people just not really responding. And the second they play the Mariah. I carry a Christmas song. Everyone starts dancing. Oh wow, it's it it. crazy! It's just one month out of the year we get to enjoy a song. Oh yeah, well it was actually going to be originally a Hanukkah song, and he talked her out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Christians have the music. Let's be real. I mean, well, it was all written by Jews. That's, that's true. true. That's true. That's true. But, they, but they didn't yeah. write it about Hanukkah. Yeah, <laughs> they had the option. Well, Mariah did write her. She writes all of her own music. Come on, she wrote every. Saint Louis got one. the Hanukkah. Song. No, Mariah. Good Mariah good wrote every single one of her songs. Oh wow, every single one she wrote. Really? Yeah, every wow. single one of her songs she wrote. All that, right. That's a great point, though. The best Christmas songs are the best songs are Jews writing Christmas songs. I would say the same with comic books: Batman, Jews. Superman, Spider Man. It's all Jewish, Jewish made, but the, not Jewish. But not superhero. Jewish. It's white Chris <laughs> Irving Berlin, right? Have your may your yeah. days be merry <laughs> and bright. The, um, the yeah. loneliness of being excluded from it. Bring, brought out the power and yeah, thing. The yeah, no one wants I don't know if it's like, that much or it's so, like it's unrequited like a, love. It's a music industry thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one wants a Jewish superhero though. No one's a guy who's like this now. Really, <laughs> I got to deal with this. <laughs> you know? yeah. Is that the same way they don't want gay superheroes to be like really again? <laughs> Jews and gays both kind of catty in their own way. Yeah. That's probably why we True. became friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mateo True. can Mateo can shit talk. We love like to a, complain, but. It's also a New York thing. New Yorkers bitch so much. Yes, they do. It's oh. a fun type of bitching. Every it's New Yorker New York is thing. Jewish and gay a little. Is there a gay Jew? <laughs> Who's a gay Jew? It's a lot of gay Jews. A lot of gay Harvey Firestein is probably oh, the- Oh, uh, yeah. I was re-watching Independence Day, which is- I gotta call my lawyer. The most- I Forget my lawyer. <laughs> Here's the question. Here's oh, an interesting question. Is that more offensive as a gay stereotype or a Jew stereotype? Because they're Ooh. both I don't think really it's offensive. <laughs> I don't think it's- I mean, that's who Harvey Firestein- that is who he is. Yeah. I, love I also want to talk about how that <laughs> that movie, by the way, I I loved the first twenty minutes of that movie when the ships are coming in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the second they blow up, everything everything falls apart. And then I heard uh, oh, Patrice O'Neill and Jim Norton talking about it on the radio years ago. It was on YouTube, and they just dive in about how bad the movie is, how terrible. Like, and it, it's true; it's a really bad movie. It's, it's a, not fun great. though. It's a good it is play. fun. Yeah, oh, it's, very fun. it's a fun movie. President but, Bill Pullman, remember? Yeah. Oh yeah, Randy yeah. Quaid is the. Yeah. Yeah. John Hirsch is more is the more anti-Semitic portrayal. There's two pretty big Jewish well, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the dad, it was like the dad's pretty brutal. He like comes into the White House. He's like, "You think I can take some pens?" Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's like, "Can I take some pens?" He's like, "Ooh, the White House, uh, the Civil War here must be really great." It's so weird because Judd Hirsch, like old school on Taxi, is so cool. So cool. Like he's just a cool dude. He but... became a Jewish stereotype. Yeah, I think, I think at that point old... he was just like, "I need the paycheck." <laughs> <laughs> Which is, the I mean, independent. Independence Day, like, oh, Independence Day, here we are. No, I See, think it all I comes think, back around. I think at a certain point, you just become a stereotype. I think you just. Yeah. I became yeah. a. Then yeah. I was thirteen. <laughs> I've been riding on this stereotype for a really long. You can time. only imagine what you're going to become. <laughs> <laughs> what monster I'll evolve years. into? <laughs> Did you go to the parade this week or no? No, 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 no. I was. I'm just. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. It's you know what it is? It's like I've done it. I'm 38. It was my birthday too, so I was celebrating way, we might, my birthday. We might have something for that. Oh, Jessica Kirsten made the list, by the way. Should we go? As a what? As a gay Jew. Work. And uh, oh, yeah, nice. Jessica's so funny. But yeah, I um, I didn't. I went to Benihana, and uh, everyone smelled like... Uh, I don't... Benihana is like... That place is falling apart. Oh, it's a mess. It's like East Berlin in 1983. Like, that's what it feels <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, not. You're, you have such a sophisticated... I Italian thought it'd be fun. Palette. Like, a group of friends going to Benihana that's and fun. just kind of laughing. But then we all smelled like onion. Then I don't know what's more embarrassing. Telling people you smell like onion or you went to Benihana. Like, I don't right, know what it is. Because right. everyone judges you. You're like, I went to Benihana. They're like... Why? Well, it's kitschy, you know. Yeah. It's like but the Japanese Olive Garden. But it is yeah, good, though, go. right? Isn't it good? Eh, or it's all right. Yeah, it's the show. fried rice was fine, but it's just there's like, a real class divide here. I'm like, that's a fancy place. <laughs> 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 it's just it. I mean, they really need to like. You ever watch those like cleaning TikTok al yes. like videos? They need that. They need that like blonde lady coming <laughs> who's happy about mold, yeah, and then just cleaning that place up. The music was bad. It was like. <laughs> oh. 
a little dingy. Like, yeah, it's dingy. By the way, uh, uh, can I preemptively say a comment making fun of me that's going to be on the YouTube thing? Sure. King George Costanza. <laughs> oh, my God. I got it first, so fuck like you. Uh-oh, speak. Oh, my God. Uh, stereotypes. Oh. We got and can we also eat the cake? Happy yeah. birthday <laughs> to you. Oh, my Happy God. Look at this birthday. dick. It's a small black yeah. dick. Yeah. <laughs> That's not black. The that's black great. one costs extra. <laughs> oh, no. That's, I guess that's... But the Asian one costs less, so we did go for the white. I think, I, but, think uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I think it's a mixed dick. I oh, think, is it? I think it's oh, yeah. I, I, would, uh, I love. I gotta be honest. I lo- thank you by the way. I love uh, <laughs> sprinkles. Oh. I always like if there's a Mister Frosty, I'll get like a blonde, a uh, uh, vanilla uh, cone with sprinkles. Sprinkles sure. are the best. This looks. It actually looks way better than I thought it would look. This looks presentable. Well, that's because it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat it. <laughs> Can you eat? No, you can't eat the penis, right? That's just like. A well, let's give it a shot. Oh, I'm sure you can eat. I'm, I'm sure that doesn't uh, really appeal to me, but it does look like it, you can eat it. The um, sprinkles. The sprinkles look more appealing to me than the penis. Wait, you can't eat it? No. Oh, that's uh, it's chocolate. It's cold and hot. Oh, it's chocolate? Oh, really? oh wow. Yeah. It's the worst episode of Is It Cake ever. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like jizz on his balls. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it's coming out of a pool of jizz. It's a lot of jizz. <laughs> it's so good. I'm 38 years old. It's so good. Remember, do you, do you I moved here when I was uh, 25. Wow. Holy shit. And all of us were the creek and the cake. I'm right behind you, though. I'll be yeah. there in, in a month. Oh, yeah? Woo! Do you ever see the weird poll? But you ever see the movie Bachelor Party in the '80s with Tom Hanks? Yes. No. Oh, dude, it's it's a. You've seen it? I we had to watch it for the podcast, but I I made it about halfway. Dude, oh wait, no, no no no, I'm thinking a cocktail. Party. No, oh, it's yeah. way more. No, with no, Tom no, Cruise. That, no, it's Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. It's, it's a fun. Oh, Tom Hanks. Yeah, he's yeah. getting married, and his friends are all degenerates, and they throw him a party, and it's like Tom Cruise that is like total. Like super charming, funny, dirty '80s yes, comedy. Yes, yes. But there's a scene where the women are like, "Well, we're going to go out too," and they go to a strip club for men. And there's this guy named Nick the Dick, uh-huh. and he's I guess got the biggest dick. And he walks over and, as a joke, tries to serve them his dick. They're giving out hot dogs, mm. and they keep pulling on his dick. And that's that's what made me think of. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's very good. It's less sweet than that wine. <laughs> Come on, I want a bite. <laughs> it is. It's good. I want a piece of the dick. <laughs> I honestly. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry, I tried to slice it. I still can't believe it's. It looks so plastic. That's chocolate. I think it's chocolate. Okay, come on, more. Ah, oh, easy, Lorena Bobby. <laughs> wow, that's a hard dick. It is good though. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do Blue Chew a lot. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it works. It's great. That's yeah, so good. Wait, what's Blue Chew? Oh, Blue Chew. It's like it's like. Uh, it's like Viagra, but for, mm. for the youth, the cool Viagra. It's yeah. not your grandpa's Viagra. What does that uh, mean? Uh, you pop it in, you, you chew it. You pop it in, you chew it. You don't have to get like a prescription. Work gently. Uh, yeah, it's How great. long does it last for him? Oh, all night. You know, I'm really? issue getting it up, though. Come on. That's I'm not. I heard. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I used to do it because, you know, like, especially like if, if you're having sex with someone in the beginning, you know, you know how you come early. Yeah. I'm just projecting it onto everyone. You know how everyone, (laughs) you know how everyone comes immediately. (laughs) Uh, But so that let me to, that actually let me, interestingly enough, let me go for a while because I don't know why you think it'd be the opposite. Yeah. But it lets you keep going. I think it's, the fact that my dick's so hard in my head, I'm like, like even if after I, you come, unless you keep going. Well, I think in my yeah. head, I'm thinking because I know that if I came, my dick would still going. That takes away the pressure, and then I don't come early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all mental. It's all mental. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah, like I tried Propecia, and everybody's like, "You're gonna, you're gonna go impotent. You can't get it up on Propecia." And right then, I couldn't get it up. Really? And then I realized yeah. this is all in my head, and I got it up again. The first time I had sex, I was reading. Sorry. I was afraid of coming early, and I was reading. Victor Frankl has this book called *Man's Search for Meaning*. Mm. It's about like Auschwitz and him. Like, it's, oh, it's, it's hard like, to get hard to Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a psychological <laughs> book <laughs> about like uh, finding meaning in life. But he was a Holocaust survivor. But for some reason, at the end, there's like a final chapter. He's a psychologist on how not to come early. What? That's- yeah, it's very bizarre. It's in the very end. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if at the end of Anne is, Frank, there was. About- <laughs> <laughs> it's like lessons of fisting at the end of the diary of Anne Frank or something. Right. But it said to come <laughs> to not come early, you need to try to come early because it's all reverse uh, psychology. Uh, and your dick is like, I'll just do whatever the fuck. You don't tell me. What Basically, to do. men aren't enjoying anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're just. 
just constantly playing mind games while we're exactly. fucking. And we're like, don't come, come, don't come. He says, don't come, come. And so they're true. like, can we oh, get dude, this I, over with? I literally have like baseball players in my head that help me not. Like Wade Boggs. That's pretty gay. It's hey, pretty man. gay. <laughs> but, but it's not gay because it helps me to not come. You know, oh, so I'm like Wade Boggs is weird. You're edging it. yourself but with baseball ask. players, <laughs> but you've heard, you've never heard the baseball to help to delay orgasm. I pr- I look if, if Jeter pops, <laughs> then I, do come, but I promise you yeah. that I'm not. But here's the thing: are there baseball players you specifically don't imagine knowing it could have the re- Jose I, Canseco? I, <laughs> yeah, no, I just said that Jeter. Oh, Jeter! I don't uh, think it's Jeter. <laughs> he, straight, Jeter. he dated Mariah Carey. Yeah. That's right. Oh, you should see. And then she wrote the song "My All About Him." Really? Mm -hmm. Well, he hit like Jeter had everybody: Tyra Banks, Madonna, uh, Madonna, Bruce. Oh, Madonna. A Rod. A Rod -Rod. had Madonna, not Jeter. That was right. And A Rod had J Lo. J Lo is a mess. Is she? she? Have you guys not like seen everything that's going on I with her? The tour is not selling. She had the tour, didn't sell, so she oh, canceled right. the tour. Canceled then it. she did two movies. One, a self-produced project about her life that everyone Ugh. panned. Ugh. And then she did something called Atlas for Netflix, which is like, I mean, it, it looked like Reboot, the cartoon from ABC it, Morning Shows. Oh, wow. And then and that didn't go well either. And now she's getting a divorce with Ben Affleck. Wow. Isn't the canceling? The canceling seems like such a fuck you to her fans that like she's going to cancel all these tickets. Well, I just don't think it was selling. 18%. So I think that she canceled it because because the fans were basically saying fuck you to her. But I guess I heard J-Lo that fans. it was a, it was like, <laughs> a, <laughs> it was still a big fan base, a, a lot of fans, but she had to, she had such a, Demand for such a high percentage that mm. it had to be completely sold out, but it was only like eighty percent sold out. Well, eighty percent's uh, good. That's what I'm saying. So she canceled on like eighty percent full places just because she wasn't. Maybe she didn't want to do it because she's just tired. Yeah, she I mean, did too much. That. She's I mean, at Benny Hanna. I mean, she looks. Insane. She's at Benny Hanna. <laughs> she looks insanely hot, but she, she looks like, amazing. She's like fifty four. Right? Oh, she looks yeah. great. But you saw those Ben Affleck photos. They're all just like. He looks like Auschwitz. <laughs> uh, fuck, I hate this. You can he tell does seem hit. really stressed out. It is. Oh, a, yeah. It is, it's got to be a lot. It's kind of funny to be like, like they got back together. So it's that old thing. Like it was, they were meant to be the whole time. Yep. It's like, nope. Yeah, yeah. Look at that him. was also. He had good hair plugs. I'll say that. Oh, I think really? he looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had yeah, good he hair plugs. Hunk. What is it with J-Lo? I don't understand what the- I think she's high main. I think she's a, a lot. She's supposed to be uh, the ultimate like diva, right? But she's always with- Like, she's never alone. She's That's always, true. always with somebody. And yet always alone. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, literally. I got my horoscope right today. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> what did she say during the national- Or she was singing America the Beautiful, and then she was like, you know, let's get loud. And then, didn't she scream that? Let's oh, get loud. Yeah. You YouTube that real quick. It's humiliating. She's lip syncing America the Beautiful. Yeah. And then comes in and screams, let's get loud. <laughs> right. And then goes back to America the Beautiful, and everyone's like, what? What? Yeah, weird timing. <laughs> yeah. Really weird timing. Her hottest movie, I think, was U Turn. Remember U Turn? No, seen it's her. Enough. Remember Enough? <laughs> oh, Enough after is her fighting the, the abusive guy. I think guy. She's hottest and out of sight. She was sexy. Oh, she was oh there we yet. go. There's J Lo. She's looking this good. This is when she was dating A Rod. She looks like the prince. And she always looks good. What year? There's got to be a timestamp because it's humiliating. Yeah, this is at the Biden inauguration. Oh, okay. Jenny from Doesn't the this block? feel so antiquated? You know I know. I just feel so like, silly. what are we doing? What is this, Star Wars? All right, here we go. Oh. This is lip syncing. This land is your land. Okay. Well, the man- Biden's like, Gloria Estefan looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Woody Guthrie would be spinning in his grave right now. <laughs> All right, so far it sounds pretty good. Got some flag shots. She is such a bad singer. Yeah, I don't think she's that talented, to be honest. Oh, yeah, there was COVID, so like... <laughs> this is Biden's inauguration? Yeah. Here we uh, go. The plastic walls. The... She looks... She's pulling it off. Oh, six feet distancing. I hate when they just switch to a new song. <laughs> like, in the you middle. hate medleys? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, although I, I do like this song. Like, fil- finish yeah. the song. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. He. D- don't give me the Mariah bitch like that. you know what you're doing. She went to Michael's for her outfit and earrings. <laughs> you know she did that in arguments with Ben. She'd be like, <laughs> yes. Here we go. 
What is this arrangement? It has six foot distance. You don't like this good wine, I think. Very good. No. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. Went to SAP. <laughs> so she's lip thinking, let's get loud. Yes. Okay. Really? Yes. So. so I, was also, the, she doesn't speak Spanish. Well. <laughs> she doesn't. You watch interviews with her. She's like, la, la, el la, la, me, uh, hint, um, oh. what I think. Uh, you know. <laughs> Can I make a point about why Woody Guthrie would be spinning his grave? It's like very. Who? So Woody Guthrie wrote the song This Land Is Your Land. He wrote it in reaction to the bullshit patriotism of America the Beautiful. Mm. So he wrote it as a counter argument to like the kind of simplistic patriotism. Yes, but the gay composer who put it together <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was like, that? we need all hands on deck for J-Lo. So it went from the song that he, that he was like critiquing in a way to that fucking song. Do you remember mm. the? Uh, Did he also write "Let's Get Loud"? <laughs> he wrote that too. <laughs> Let's get loud. Do you remember the the Fergie at the All Star Game? We have Girl, it's so good. It's pretty oh, fucking the cartwheels. Funny. It, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saw that? <laughs> yeah, I love that. Mark knows all oh, the gay yeah. shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is where. By the way, this is where Mateo and I meet in the middle. I'm like, I'm like, you remember Fergie? And, he's like, and I'm like, at the All Star Game. Got you. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> I think she's pretty hot. Oh, oh pretty she's gorgeous. Hot. She's okay. Beautiful. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Is that a controversial take? I don't feel like I hear her. Uh, Mark's listed. like, I'd fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> the best is Ooh. when you start seeing the Stop. I don't know who the, this is. Her name's Fergie? You know Black Eyed Peas. Mm. Oh. You know the Black I mean, I know the Black Eyed Peas, but she... Oh. Doesn't everyone start laughing at this point? Yeah. He looks like he just came. Oh, that hurts. End of the breeze. Take that shit to WNBA. <laughs> oh. Oh. He is he is the meds, pretty. the meds are just wearing off. Because <laughs> you watch Mariah when she was 19, she sang "America the Beautiful," so no one knew who she was, mm. and she hits the high note, and all the basketball players start losing their minds. Uh. It's awesome. It's the exact opposite of what's happening right now. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Ooh, that's rough. Very proud of herself, though. She doesn't know it was rough. Well, she got out of bed. But why is it so? <laughs> it's just bad. She's just like off. Why is it bad? Why is it bad? Yeah. Where? Where to begin? <laughs> well, you know, bad. the arrangement was bad. Her Red voice bad. is bad. Okay. And she's doing weird things like. <laughs> I mean, it's, the whole thing was weird. It's like a Dali painting, but a song. Right, like, right. it just doesn't fit the tone, you right. know. <laughs> Versus, like, Whitney Houston. I just think at any single Super Bowl or any basketball game, whatever, champion, just like when we were in middle school and they pearled out that, you know, TV on a tray. Yes, yes. And we knew that something good was coming. Do or the same bad. Thing. Just pro- that's true. <laughs> Anything was better than class. Yeah. They, they pull it out. Just play Whitney Houston. Yes. And oh, dude, that's remember, it. It should just be Whitney. She Super did it. Shows, I mean, I hate to sound old, but like, fuck, Michael Jackson, Prince. like Oh, yeah. Diana Ross in that helicopter. Yeah. It's Woo! crazy. I mean, dude, the Prince one blew my fucking mind. Yeah, pull Prince it up. Good. What's Roseanne Barr singing the national anthem? That was in the 90s. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. Oh, this one's historical. For oh, yeah. It's so bad. Bad. Is it? Oh my! This God. is very on point with the show, by the way. Remember, the national, the best and worst you national. Know what it makes me, yeah, you know what it makes me think of? Is remember the episode of The Simpsons where Krusty bombs the national anthem? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like ah, oh, forget it. I, don't know. <laughs> I recently or watched the, uh, the Simpsons episode where he got all the sugar. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, is it class? Or this the, is, she's like trolling. Oh yeah. Oh uh, okay. It's purposely bad. She just this is better than Fergie. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the naked gun part. Yes. Yes. Together. Exactly. That's Mariah Carey had a good one, but Whitney Houston's is the best. It I can't don't be understand Whitney. why anyone would ever try and outdo it. Ironically, Fergie took a bath. <laughs> <laughs> that performance. <laughs> Oh, okay, <laughs> there's a great comedian in Chicago named Ray Holub. Oh, I love that guy. He's so funny. And the night she died, we were at an open mic, and he went up and did a Whitney joke on the spot. He goes, and he's very his performance is very you know dry, right? And he says, uh, uh, Whitney Houston was uh, found with uh, uh, the, she, they did the autopsy, and, and she had so many drugs in her body, lots and lots of drugs. And when they asked Bobby Brown, "What do we do with it?" he said, "Can we smoke it?" 
<laughs> he used to have a bit about 9-11 that was so funny I can't, it was like about him being in the towers and, just, and, all, huh. and like someone I, I can't remember the full joke but this part I just love this, someone literally is knocking on the door and going we gotta get out of here it's 9-11 like he calls it 9-11 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it so funny Ray Hollip is one of the funniest people I've ever seen he moved really? here for like Entire a life. second yeah I know I wish he would come back yeah he's, he's, he's hilarious Louis had a great 9-11 jack off joke you remember that one? oh that's no, a great one how bad a person you were by how long you waited to jack off after 9-11 he goes for me it was between the first and the second plane <laughs> you know in retrospect I guess that, was, that might have been true <laughs> that's like a John Lennon jealous guy when he's like I didn't mean to hit you in the eye and you're like what a metaphor then you find out he really was beating yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Well, yeah, Whitney Houston, that was the best. Too. I think everything else is downhill from there. It's true. She's your Higher number standard. one. Mm, I don't. Mm, it's a tie. I would say either oh, Barbara say Streisand yeah. or uh, Whitney Houston. Uh, it's the tie between those. I go two. Barbara Streisand. I go Jew every time. I but could, I could. You can go either way <laughs> with those two. Papa, or can Mariah, you hear me? That's... Or or <laughs> that movie <laughs> is so ridiculous. Barbara Streisand playing. <laughs> A, a man it, it, she's got like palm olive fingers like yeah, she's yeah. not even attempting to try and be a man <laughs> right she's just barbara streisand in a man's outfit being like i want to study <laughs> like it was it, she didn't even attempt like it like superman it, without it, the glass well at least mulan <laughs> attempted you hey, he's right. like hey boy anyone can pull yeah. off looking like a man without much effort it's barbara streisand don't say i love barbara streisand <laughs> was hot. young barbara yeah, oh, young, young barbara, barbara was hot, you, oh, hot. I, I had funny girl on the other day she's fucking although that book i read her book it was not 900 pages. Kind of sexy. She's an attractive young woman. She is. Honker. I love it. I want to. She's got such a big it. nose. No offense to Jews. I like the nose. Can I say though, her book, I read it and I could barely get through it because it's like there's interesting stories and then she divulges and goes into like architecture. She wants you to know that she's a designer. So uh, she'd be like, I met William. <laughs> William was wearing a long purple A line shirt with three buttons. <laughs> I remember that just. Talk about William. Yes. But that was everything Too much in the detail. book. That was right. exhausting. But she's truly. By the way, that's queen. every woman. It's like, you're like, get to the fucking end. Just tell the end of the story. Yes. yes. The editor's like a man in a relationship. He's like, Jesus I guess Christ, I'm gay. focus. I'm used to, I guess because I'm gay, I'm used to men never finishing stories. <laughs> All right, she's she, looked good on that, right? I take, all right, she's hot. I mean, I, not yeah, hot. She's an interesting she looking was, She was a beautiful lady. woman, dude. What? She got ugly quick. Wait a minute, <laughs> edit that out. But it went bad quick. Yeah. Well, the she, thing she was like an avocado. But she was you, in a, you know, she's all right. But she was. She made a movie about her being kind of unattractive. So even she, that's that true. Mirror, well, the she, mirror has two faces. It's yeah. not traditional. Not traditional. Good look. But that no, was she's also, not. She. But she's beautiful. It's just not like. Yeah. She doesn't. She doesn't look like Whitney Houston. I love how the old way, no. like the old like Shakespeare Twelfth Night way. It was like the woman, yeah, the man with no effort. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, yeah, it's just it's a man. I love how not traditional just means big Jew nose. <laughs> but yeah, th it was a bad attempt at being a man. It was like a trans person in the 90s. You know? God, Very lazy. Hard. Well, so, I... Uh, hey, I, 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 I one babysat me. I went... Uh, I was no in, effort. I was in Jerusalem with uh, Adrian Appaluccio, uh, Appalucci. Yes. And, uh, we were at the Western Wall, you know? Uh -huh. And she wanted to go on the men's side because the women's side was too long, the line. But, like, you're not about, about to, like... You, you can't, like, switch in there you know yeah first and i was like do not go into the men's section they'll fucking stone you and she was gonna go she's a psychopath she's like i don't sure. give a shit and i'm like don't go and i convinced her i was like worst case scenario either you're gonna get beat up or people aren't gonna realize you're not a woman <laughs> and both ones are That's kind a of a point. bad uh, situation <laughs> what's um, worse she's got one of my favorite jokes of all time she's the best yeah. you, you know the joke she has where she goes uh, uh my boyfriend threatened to kill himself and i was like great now i can't kill myself people are gonna think we were in love <laughs> That is a so like funny. you that's can't funny, write a yeah. better one liner than that. That's, that's like a <laughs> to me that's like a perfect joke. Perfect perfect joke. Well, everyone says Apolucci, but I think it's just pronounced a different way. Iapolucci, 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 or something. She's Jewish she, too. By she, the way. Really? Part yeah, half Jew, half oh. Italian. She's Italian. Mother was a yeah. comic as well. That's right. I don't remember. Is that Gould? She's great. Yes, yeah, she yeah. was dating. She married Elliot Gould. Oh. Elliot Gould lived and they had a kid life. together. There he is. Yeah. Sam's. This is like Jack Nicholson when you see him at the end in the picture. Sam Morrill. Or love him. Past. Dude. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> no, what, dude, what, oh, by the way, R.I.P. Robert Town. Fucking. I know. Died. I saw oh, that. Oh, uh, that Chinatown. Uh, Chinatown. The fucking and, and uh, last detail was a fucking. Oh yeah. And he, and he did punch up on Godfather. Like that dude. Uh, yeah. He it, did it, punch up on Godfather. Oh, no, mate, you know it was Bonnie and Clyde. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was like, I don't even know where the punch ups would be. No, I. 
he was like, he was an uncredited script supervisor on a lot of stuff that you don't. Cause he was just he was like no, but he also had a guy he didn't really take great care of. That he got the, it. Yeah. Last detail is a really underrated Nicholson one. Mm -hmm. Norman loves that one. Can I say, the yeah. straightest thing I'm about to say is I still think The Godfather is one of the greatest movies of all. Time. Yeah. Why is that? That's just worse. because yeah. it just feels like such a straight man thing to say is no. like we all the Godfather, it's but amazing. like and the second is, as well. The second, uh, the second one's amazing. Dude, where he fucking stabs when De Niro fucking stabs that motherfucker. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Fatal, That's why I don't get like some women are like Godfather. Man, you know these movies guys love. It's like you no, know, these are like it's the quality. Movies. But it's yeah. like it's all about family, really. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. a kind of fucked up. That's family, how they sold but, it. Sure. That, yeah, that, that was literally because the well, they wanted Robert Duvall. No, they wanted um the originally Redford Redford we to talked play about the, Michael yeah, Leone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Horrible choice. Like no. Well, yeah. Well, they the, had to honky everything up back then. The best testament to how good it is. Saddam Hussein's favorite movie was The Godfather, which means that movie is so universal. Yeah. And so just capturing life. Yeah. How do we know that that's he, his favorite? He said it. He did a he, he was did. at the, he was in the criterion closet. That's <laughs> <laughs> so was Mateo. <laughs> But uh, it's so good that even he could watch it and be like, yeah, you got to support it. Like, you liked it for the wrong reason. Well, the book, right. the book was like pop. It was like, you know, pop, you know, sensation. Yeah. Whatever. But then Coppola, like, he turned, he found what it really was like universal about it. And it's family. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's family. And he also understood, like, Sicilians and yes. what, that, what that actually means. I, and I will say it's pretty ballsy to... Bring a head of a horse into a bed, thinking you're not going to wake the person up. Oh. <laughs> I know they never Boy, quite explained that. I was like, "Are they Batman? Like you know, how Batman like disappears, and you're like, where did he go?" I imagine carrying a decapitated head's horse is probably not the quietest yeah. action. Yeah. And I'm a light sleeper. I'd be like, "Who is this?" <laughs> yeah, that could have Going easily on. gone with him just waking up. <laughs> That's what the true. fuck? And a guy just holding a horse. That'd be, be like, a great sketch. <laughs> I also, and then he's, just like, he's like, "Ah, hey, give uh, give Frank Sinatra the roll. Just yeah. throw him. <laughs> Let him off the." Contract. He was offended that they offered him that. Uh, singer. Really? Oh, they offered it to him. Oh, um, guy who was the guy who based did it? off of him? Yeah, of course. When he got out of his contract, he was with that big band player. Oh, That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. they, they offered it to him. Hey, hey, folks, you want to blow your tits off? Well, you need the Vacu Glide by Auto Blow, classified as a male milking machine, world's most pleasurable machine for men. Great for folks with ED or just people who like to rub one out. Look at this thing. I mean, this is top notch. A little rude that you only send one of these, Vacky Glide. Come on. That's true. Who's getting sloppy seconds? But well, let's Rock, paper, one. scissors. There we go. Or, or we could, can we go both ends? Oh, we'll touch dicks like a lady in the tramp. Chinese finger trap. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, this thing does feel good. Does it? No. I mean, it's got a nice. I dip my coating. nose in it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, there's nothing for the balls. Come on. Use the same concept as cow milking machines. Whoa. Oh, okay, so we'll give it to kids. Yeah. <laughs> Control speed. Uh, stored and owned backpack. It's a nice looking backpack. Not ready for the vacuum line with Auto Blow Ultra? Well, that doesn't use suction. The Auto Blow Ultra sinks to a library of dirty Whoa. movies, so you feel like you're really there. It's like um, one of those uh, flight simulators or something. Yeah, or golf. I'm bringing this on the train. <laughs> Fuck it. This will cut back on jerking off on the, on the subway. Get 10% off with VacuGlide or Auto Blow Ultra when you use promo code WMBD. That's promo code WMBD for 10% off the VacuGlide or the Auto Blow Ultra. That's significant. These are expensive. Use that 10%. Oh, yeah. And it will get the other 90% if your bowl's empty. <laughs> you got that right. Send us a video when you're done. <laughs> Bad habits can be alluring, but it's time to kick them to the curb. Fume is a flavored air device that'll help you kick that hand-to-mouth habit. It's not a vape, so you can use it anywhere. There's no nicotine, so it's not addictive. I love having something in my hand, something to fiddle with, something to chew on, bite, play with, suck on. It's just good for that oral fixation. It's fun. <laughs> it looks cool. Look at that. This will cure you, baby. Give me a hit. Fume has served over 300,000 customers and can be a success story. Then it be the next success story. For a limited time, use code DRUNK to get a free gift with your journey pack. Head to tryfume.com. That's, That's kind of, F-U-M. cool. Like it's it. super cool. It smells good. It feels good. It's got some heft. Tryfume.com. That's tryfume, F-U-M.com. And use code DRUNK. Get a free gift with your order today. Fume. 
There's plenty of ways to get stinky in the summer, but there's only one way to beat it. Mando whole body deodorant. Mando's clinically proven to control odor for up to 72 hours. Wow. That's a long time. Wearing it right now. Yeah, in this city, it stinks. So even if you miss a shower, you're going to smell fresh. Available in four cologne quality scents to make you smell like a man. Mm. Bourbon leather. Mm. Mount Fuji. Pro, pro, pro spot. Oh, pro sport. God, my eyes stink. And uh, Clover Woods. Nice. And Man Who Gets Pussy Flavor. <laughs> All kinds of, that, that one's not real, but you get, they sound good. Bourbon leather sounds kind of fun, man. I oh, like yeah. that. That is nice. Yeah, I'm wearing it right now. I, uh, I love it. Let me smell that. Get in there. And I haven't oh, showered today. Oh, fucking good. Oh, really? Yeah, that smells fucking good, actually. It's pretty, pretty fresh. Mando is aluminum-free, baking soda-free, cruelty-free. Hmm. Die free and vegan. You're gonna love it. I mean, Norman smells amazing. I'm, Thank I, you. I I got the pack. I got to start using. It. I got to. I I usually finish my current uh, roll, which takes about four years. <laughs> but I'll get right to it. Mando starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with uh, a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice. That's uh you know like mini body wash or deodorant wipes, and free shipping. New customers get five bucks off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That's over 40% off your starter pack. You here, code here. drunk at shopmando.com. S H O P M A N D O.com. Code drunk. Love it. All right. Um, yeah, but no, Frank Sinatra, I think was because everyone said that's I think I'm pretty sure that's the, the story. Frank Sinatra when he first became famous was with this band leader mm. and the band, you know, Frank obviously became he was like the Justin Bieber back then. So he right. wanted out and the band leader was like, no, you're under contract, blah, blah, blah. And then I think he got out of the contract from, you know, some special help. Ah, he's a horrible person. Like, oh, Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I was reading about him and uh, Mia Farrow. Like he wanted. 60 and 21 when they got married, I believe. He wanted her out of uh, Rosemary's Baby. He wanted her to not, he wanted her to agree to never work again once they were married. Ooh. Whoa. He's that, like, crazily sexist and, like, he's like, he didn't want her to steal it at all. And then Old when school. He, and then he wanted her to, yeah, to be out of the movie and then be in another movie. I think he went off that and was like, what, with him? Yep. And he and he sent her the divorce papers on set because she refused. Right. Yeah, well, he doesn't strike me as someone who was nice. Yeah, yeah, and he also beat up a lot of women. And yeah. manic depressive, and I think he had a lot of problems. Was he manic depressive? He was, at, at, like at the at, at least like borderline person. Something was something wrong. was up. Yeah, I mean, and there was this bio that Earl Wilson wrote on him, and it was like best case manic depressive is what he said. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. And he was well five, that so. I <laughs> he was. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh really? Guy. Pull I didn't it up. Know that. He. Uh, was I back. always thought that um, out of the Rat Pack that Sammy Davis had the best voice. He's incredible. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. he really oh, yeah. was the best. His, uh, the best out of all of his them. soft mm -hmm. shit. You know, but Sinatra is a unique voice. Sinatra is unique, and Sinatra is uh, like style. I mean, he, when he was younger, he had a really good voice, like a classical voice, and was kind of like a better version of Bing Crosby. And they were often compared to each other. But um, Sammy was just a better singer. And uh, his version of uh, what's it called, uh, Mr. Bojangles? Is, like, Mr. Bojangles. Uh, Who can I turn to? Is uh, and Sammy Davis? He's more version. vulnerable than Sinatra. Mm, yeah, you know? Sinatra was all about style, and Dean Martin was just drunk. I love. <laughs> uh, I love Dean guys. Martin. Same. Martin. Everyone loves Dean Martin. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. I, I, how about? But what are you saying, like Bobby Darin? <laughs> Uh, fine. Just all sort of the same. I mean, out of all those singers at that time, Tony Bennett was the best. Oh, really? and, yeah, and even Frank Sinatra said it. He what do you think? Tony's Darren was pretty the best. Fucking good though. Who? Bobby Darren was pretty fucking good. Yeah, but I Tony like was like a. Tony's a real singer. Get some Tony. Pull Bobby Darren. Hear some Tony. Bobby Darren does the Mac and the Knife. That's so great. Oh right? yeah. Yeah, he's pretty, a good pretty, singer. He's a straight Tony. He's more of a. Bro what do you think about Bob Dylan? Like Thirty-seven too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a really creative person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna work on Maggie's farm no more. I said I've seen him live a lot of times the last couple of years. So in I was the last couple of years. Yeah, so I wasn't taken aback by Biden's performance. On the <laughs> I, had <a> lot, <laughs> I had a lot of preparation. I was like, this is great. <laughs> yeah. You were like, I don't know what he said. Oh, he knows what he said. <laughs> Um, type in Tony Bennett. Who can I turn to? There we go. And we'll see the real, the real singer. He's the he's the least attractive too. Which yes, makes me think he's very the singer. The, go to the that's, that's uh, scroll point. down. Yeah, the ugliest are the best. Susan it Boyle. Be Susan Boyle. Kathy who can Bates. I, turn to? Yeah. <laughs> I guess Rana. scroll all the way up. <laughs> I bet you oh, there, right there. Down. Who can I turn to? That yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you just go a quarter of the way through. Well, you'll, you'll, you, when he really starts belting, okay. you're like, oh, okay, this guy is the real deal. Apparently, Lady Gaga worshipped him. 
Yeah, they did like a, they did a bunch of songs. Well, she's always crying, but um, <laughs> they they did a bunch of songs together. <laughs> It was weird when he had Alzheimer's and he came out on stage and she was there. He couldn't remember anything and looked at her and said, Lady Gaga. Oh, jeez. So he did an album with Katie Lang live uh, um, oh, I love uh, together and he was supposed to come, but I just saw Katie. So Katie Lang's uh, Katie Lang's also underrated. I don't even know who that is. Oh, my God. A, a lesbian, uh, 90s, very famous. Really saying Constant Craving. Yeah. Who do you- She's a <laughs> <laughs> and she's funny she says like in interviews she's like i know i look like elvis presley but i sound like barbara streisand <laughs> she like does sound like speak. streisand she has that kind of a voice who do you really? think is the <laughs> hottest woman to have the hottest best voice whitney houston whitney houston maybe mariah Mariah also. Mariah's hot. Mariah or Whitney. And you're kind of think. Do you think Whitney has the best voice? Oh, it's between her and Barbara Streisand. Yeah. But I would say, well, or I would say them or Mariah. It's you, it really? just depends on the what day you no, catch. Me. In a way, like we always say, like you know, there's like an old Louis bit or something. Like how how uh, coincidental it is that so many singers are hot. Yeah, you know? yeah. But if you think about it, those out of the people you're mentioning, two of them are like super hot. But well, I guess Whitney, Whitney of- was like Mariah's beautiful, Barbara's beautiful. Whitney was a model. Uh, Whitney ah. was Whitney was like perfect. Yeah, but I guess there's a lot of ugly singers. I guess who aren't famous because they're not hot. And they're no, that's not true. There's famous. There's singers who are like not conventionally attractive and right. I think are famous. You know, but um, Aretha Franklin. Right, right, right. Aretha, yeah, yeah. I mean, Aretha Franklin. She was pretty, but she would, certainly didn't look like this. You know what oh, I mean? She look didn't look that. like Whitney Houston. But Aretha and Patty started it all. Like, I mean, mm. if it wasn't for Aretha Franklin, we wouldn't have anyone no singer would exist really. really whitney mariah celine none of them you know who i love is that sarah what's her name uh, i hope you don't say mclaughlin no 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 Rale- sarah vaughn Rallis. she came to one of my shows once she She's, did she did i, I, She's I hung out with her at the cellar all night i did an hour at the cellar a friend of mine as a musician came i didn't know who she was and when she left i did but we hung like for a, like an hour or two after her she Whoa. was so my friend she's like oh i'm a musician very like honest uh, about it yeah she couldn't have been nicer and oh, cooler she's hot She's, yeah, she's pretty. I was, she's like, she's great. She's incredible. Have you heard her like? Have you heard her version of no, not Goodbye not. Yellow Brick Road? It's like who's the most amazing. famous person that was in the audience when you were doing a show? Oh, once? Adam Driver. Okay, oh, wow. Wow. Where? Where, where did he see you? I uh, did the Patrice O'Neill benefit front row. That's pretty cool. You can see that mug a mile away. He's got a <laughs> face that's like ten feet tall. Oh wow! Big honker. Yeah. Mark was in the back. Watching my show once <laughs> <laughs> at the cellar. At the cellar, Barbara Corkin was there when I was on. Oh once. wow! Yeah, you know? all the staff were like, "Barbara Corkin's here!" Because I have a whole bit about Barbara Corkin, and then I asked her. I I I, I have a Shark Tank idea. Uh, I presented it to oh, her, and she said, "It stinks." <laughs> For that reason. He's out. <laughs> I, did, I did a show in Mark L- is so gay L- sometimes. Last year and uh, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers were there at my show. Oh wow! The whole band, everyone but Flea. Uh, oh, that's fine. I found out because um, Tom Takar was open. He's like, dude, do you know the Red Hot Chili Peppers? And I was like, no. He's like, they're here. Oh, he just wow. left because you were too old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I opened for uh, Andrew Schultz at Radio City. That's not true. I sang New York, New York there. But either way, I was on the show. <laughs> and uh, I, open I was open. like, wait a minute. Yeah. No, I was singing. But um, Bill Gates was in the audience. Whoa! What? Wow. Oh, that's wow. crazy. That's fucking crazy. He and, was at the cellar recently. Really? He was? Yeah. Wow. That's really like comedy. Yeah. I think his daughter does. And he's I got no one. Hannah Gatsby apparently was at my taping. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, I that's think, but even at the cellar, there's not been a night like you've been up and someone's like, oh, so and so's in the Yeah, comedy. you've had more famous comics. <laughs> you fucking open for Louis. He watched your I set. Guess Louis, yeah, if, Paul Rudd <laughs> was at the cellar once when I went oh, on. Yeah. Yeah, he's cute. If Louis ever watched my set, I would have said him. Yeah. Kidding, oh, Matt Damon. Yes. He's Matt there Damon. A lot. Yes, yes, yes. I'm trying to think of other people. Matt the Damon's there a bunch? Yeah, what? Zach Efron, Ooh, who I met and forced Jermaine Fowler to introduce me i i was wow. talking to louis about his goodwill hunting bit uh because uh i think it's one of his funniest bits oh, it's a I, it, make, bit. it makes me laugh so hard he's a joke just shitting on goodwill hunting and being like you know the gist of it is like they wrote it for themselves and he's like i'm gonna play it i'm blue collar and i'm tough and i get into fights also i'm a genius yeah. and, he, like, and it keeps yeah. going and it's such it's a, a funny bit. bit yeah but uh I, I remember asking him about it and he said you know i He's like, I honestly, I said, you know, because I that bit, made, I love that movie, but that bit made me laugh so hard. And he goes, yeah, me too. And then he, I said, have, have, do you know Matt Damon? He goes, I've never met him, but I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, it's wow. so funny that you can write a bit like that 
and you put that into the world and you're shitting on it and you're like, yeah, I love that. It's almost like a tribute, you know? But like, yeah, like Garrett, right, well, yeah. I, I was talking not shit about, there was a woman on the British Bake Off who had uh, one hand hmm. and I was, I wrote a whole joke about it. And the joke was not that making fun of her having one hand. The joke was about how British TV uh, talks about it. They never brought it up. Yeah. Where American TV would be like, what's wrong with you? And blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, this and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy and so, shit. Uh, yeah, Brad, yeah, there she is. And so anyway, uh, at the end of the joke, I make a joke about Michelle Wolf because Michelle texted me on the last episode. She made it to the top three and Michelle texted me, what happened to the hand? <laughs> so she came to my show in London. Whoa. We hung out. We took pictures together. She could not have been nicer. And she totally got that I was not making fun of her. I was making sure. fun of British and American TV. Wow. And she could not have been nicer or cooler. Well, let's give her a hand. <laughs> she, oh my right. God! Like, that ad. Does she have her. a little? She has like a little hand, or what is it? Yes, I don't know. I never asked what, what exactly. Yeah, yeah. She she have have like, <laughs> so what's what wrong, f- really? What the this fuck is up with your head? She's like, and I'll never tell you, or something like that. Uh, I also made fun of a woman on the British Bake Off for whose voice you couldn't understand. Her name is Rosie, mm. and uh, she also she she wrote me and she was like, yeah, I kind of just stand myself sometimes. Uh, I love it. So it's sometimes you get like you type in Rosie um, for her for push the Great British Bake. Off. People, people get offended because they think you have like a strong so opinion about Rosie it, British but sometimes yeah. you're just joking. Well, that's a backhanded mm-hmm. compliment. Yeah. Well, because I think it's like how you direct the joke, right? Yeah. So it's like there have been times that we all we are just making fun of the person, right? Sure. But then there's other times that person's sort of the platform to make fun of other things. I did a I posted a bit. It's like an old bit about how like uh, how like in Germany now like. They've really pulled a 180 because now, mm. like, uh, if you draw a swastika, they'll throw your ass in jail. And I'm like, I love that. It's like, even though they're no longer Nazis, they're still kind of being Nazis about it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> like, you know, all the, the German trends, airport, yeah. I was just doing That's a tour great. in Europe, and the Berlin airport was the biggest fucking mess. Really? Uh, oh, really? I have never. They used to be so organized. I have never. <laughs> they ever really did an objective. A flight. <laughs> but everyone says, oh, the Germans are so efficient, blah, blah, blah. And I'm used to the Italians who are like, a mess about right, everything. Right, right. It was legitimately, it was the worst boarding of a flight I've ever experienced. Wow. Berlin's like, it's supposed to be a very modern city as well. Right? Berlin? Yeah. Think, yeah, but the airport is sucks. The Berlin I, airport. I think the, the Nazis. The city's great. I think the Nazis were more incompetent than people like. Yeah, they were all on drugs. Yeah, there's like True. a myth that they were so organized, but it was actually a lot of well, well not the Nazis, also but, inefficient. But the German, but Germans are sort of stereotyped yep. as yeah, being yeah. like very efficient. Yeah. Right, well, they right. like efficient things. Like they like nice things. Like we think of like you know nice cars or tailored clothing. Right. right. But, but like I think yeah, with the Nazis, I think a lot of that was confidence. Yeah. A lot of it was crystal meth, and it was only yeah. yeah it was a, they were a mess. You but, shouldn't have taken. You should have taken a train. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But I posted that bit. And, <laughs> I posted that bit, and all these Germans like got so mad at me because they what? thought I was making a point. Like I was dismissing the the uh, threat of fascism. They're like, how do you, you know, there uh, are real Nazis off. there, and when you draw a swastika, you should go to jail. And I wanted to comment, like, I agree with you. I wasn't, like, making, you, I'm yeah. just making fun of it. I'm not. Yeah, but people never understand. I know. Get it. You know what I mean? You also, that's the thing I think you have to take from it, is, like, sometimes the thing is just funny. Yeah. It's just like a roast joke. You know, yeah. it's like I'm roasting Germany. It's not like I believe it, you know? Yeah, I think, roast. yeah, they're. They roasted my people. I can exactly. roast them a little. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a sex club in Berlin. It was wild. What, uh, As a city, it's kind of drab and it, it's fun, but it's kind of like gray and weird. The audiences were very good. Audiences were great. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. But the sex club was wild. Was it like pretty intentional? It was intense. Yeah. When I banged the wife in the club. That was cool. Really? I tapped on my shoulder and goes, me next? And I was like, me next. <laughs> and then a guy on my left was jerking off next to me, which was kind of flattering. What's he say, me next? Like you or his By wife. the way, gays wife. hearing this Maybe story are filing oh, yeah. their nails like and. <laughs> <laughs> where's crates. the party? They're like, where's the party? That's a get together. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh but, crates. That was, I, I, I did this. I did this. Uh, it was a. It was a big, big room, and the, but they do because the, the sound was great, right? But what they do is when they clap or when they're laughing really hard at something, they all do that on the floor. Really? And no one told me this, so halfway through, I started thinking, like, is there an earthquake? Like, <laughs> am I experiencing, am I having a stroke right now? That was right Jews now? trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the floorboards. Me next is such a funny thing. It's so funny that, like, you're that 
you know, it's like childlike. It's like, it's yeah. Like, can I have? Can I have cookie too? Right, yeah. right. <laughs> Me like as if you're one. at a sex club, it's like that is the most appropriate place to ask. You know what yeah. I mean? At least you can't ask. be doing so. Like, how? Do, who do you take me for? Right. right. You know, like you come and they're like, well, you're not using it right now. Yeah. Can, I just, can I just bust a nut on your wife, please? I brushed him away quick because I didn't want her to be like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I think you're technically being a little selfish, honestly. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Well, <laughs> I got. I married her. I got to deal with all the other stuff. <laughs> So. You can't just go to a club and have monogamous sex. That's like uh, it is crazy. Oh yeah, that's, you know what? Was, you're being rude. I guess you're right. You weren't appreciating that, other right. cultures. Good point. <laughs> Sorry, I'll go back and I'll let you. I'll horror out. You yeah. some guy. He was pretty good. Yeah, he was hot. <laughs> was, was his dick out? No, thank God. <laughs> the idea of you not waiting time for her to answer is so funny. No, I can can't. Be next? No, 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 of course not. The runaway. <laughs> yeah, she's like, wait a second. Let's feel this out. Yeah. yeah. I was in Germany during COVID, and it was. It was How? tough because I was, I was with Louis on the tour. It was, I don't know. It was not oh, like, like 2021. Yeah, yeah, not the. That first tour first. when he was in uh, Italy, I was having lunch with my friend Francesco De Carlo, and I go, Who opened for him? And he goes, hey, I'm A black guy with a stroke. <laughs> That was me. That was me. I, I was know. doing. Uh, he, I was doing blackface, and I was nervous. Dude, uh, <laughs> I love that Louis was in Kiev. The week they got uh, fucked. Well, he was, uh, about, he was about to go. No, I know, oh, but yeah, yeah. but my friend was like, "You think he's gonna cancel?" I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> he, <laughs> no, he's gonna do the show." Right? Like, he wasn't prepared. He wasn't canceling until the That's last insane. minute. Wow. He, he wanted he because I think like I think no other comedian had like performed there. So I, it was like a man on the moon. It was like uh, like a new 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 territory. For Whoa! The but then the day before he was gonna go, the the war broke out it was Yikes. literally the day before it was like apollo 13 man yeah. on the moon. he didn't make it <laughs> um <laughs> that was like i just performed in madrid and they don't have a lot of american comics there so i performed where the lion king happens yeah. so it was sort of i was sort of doing a show with like nala yeah <laughs> it was like lion king stuff everywhere oh that's it's honestly kind of fun yeah and they were the best audience madrid really yeah they were great i was the most nervous for them because i was like oh i wonder if they're like gonna can like the germans you know they speak enough english sure or, like, you know i felt like okay. they didn't know they were good in madrid but i felt like there was like a pause where they're like mm. translating it a little new tattoo Yes, I got Storm from the X. I think I saw wow. this. And the voice who does Storm sent me a, 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 a message. Whoa. I cried. I was like, oh my God. She, so she's from the original and she's back to do. Because the new one I thought was really good. Really, really Wait, good. I thought it was like Halle yeah. Berry or someone, isn't it? Or no? no, it's she's the <laughs> Oh, it's an animated, oh. <laughs> it's an animated show. No, I imagine I, I was like, I don't remember her name, but <laughs> X Men. Oh, it's called X Men '97. Yes, X Men '97. Oh. I have to say, I wrecked it. I do Rex. We do Rex every week. It's re it really, it's, really is it's good. Excellent. They did a great job. I feel so homesick. It's Allison. That? That's the voice Who's of Storm. Fergie? I'm with you. But you, but you. Uh, how, so how did she see this? She just so I posted Instagram? online that I got a new tattoo and I put up Storm and then she sent me a voice message or a video message with my picture of the tattoo saying like, you know, like I heard the mistress of the elements loves it too and thanks for making us laugh. Can and, we pull Whoa. this up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on my Instagram. And uh, then I was messaging and her. She's, and gay dudes love Storm. Love. Oh, is it, is it, love. And my guess is it's because she's like big and she's dramatic. dramatic. Yeah. Like uh, of all the, of the powers, you know what I mean? Like Cyclops just shoots. Yeah. And Wolverine's aggressive, but she's like, winds rise and <laughs> sweep the thorns <laughs> from our path. It's like a diva. Thing. There she right. is. Oh, we gotta... You'd think it'd be a Jewish thing because of the controlling weather. That's true. <laughs> Shut up, um, Mark. I have to put a authority <laughs> that the mistress <laughs> of the elements wow, herself. she's a nice lady. Oh, my God. She's Canadian. Oh, yeah. Keep and we were messaging doing. each other afterwards. Make us smile, make God, us laugh. Oh, I love that. We need I it. cried. Dude, and well, I, as she said to me, I'm my Mateo. publicist is a gay I guy. I just want to... But she goes, my publicist is a gay guy, and so he's a big fan of yours, so he saw it. And oh, well, I was like, thank it God. It was all Canadian days. voice actors in the mm -hmm. 90s because they wouldn't pay shit, right? Mm -hmm. So they went to Canada. So now, But they brought them all back. Yeah, and Sailor Moon as well because you could hear the Canadian accent when they're talking. I don't know this gay stuff, X-Man. I don't know. <laughs> X-Man? Wolverine. Bitch. Wolverine. You're wearing a crown right now. <laughs> you know this gay stuff. You don't watch any superhero stuff? What? You didn't watch any superhero stuff when you were a kid? 
No, I watch Batman movies. I like Batman. Well, I Poison love Ivy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I love Poison Ivy. I love the like, Poison Ivy series. Yeah, well, I love the first. You know, the first couple of Batman. I loved the Poison Ivy movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman. Because, first of all, it's schlock. It's campy. It's yes. campy. Yes. It's yes. terrible. I love that you call it the Poison Ivy movie. That's it, the most important part. It is the Poison Ivy movie. <laughs> <laughs> is it Joel Schumacher? Yeah. Of course, it's yeah. Joel Schumacher. The gayest movie. Yeah. You yeah. find out now that like sh- like Arnold didn't even show up for anything. He just when it was like the close up scenes but he just had a body double do everything he got billed <laughs> first before George Clooney chill and out and it, chill out what killed the cool dinosaurs off. the ice age you know so stupid was it Joel Schumacher yeah Joel Schumacher yeah, yeah. right he well gay he, as a one picnic of the gay basket oh, yeah. so my friend my friend Dana Gould told me they had dinner together one night there was like a big dinner and he asked him about casting Val Kilmer in uh, Batman Forever and he goes he immediately just went you know why I casted him? His lips. I'm like, that's a, that's <laughs> that's a pretty scary. gay reason to cast if, Batman. Who, all right, this scene will explain it. Can you type uh, Poison Ivy Batman Robin movie? Because there's a scene, her entrance scene. It is you, literally like... She was hot as hell. In the uh, oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. oh, hot. She's gorgeous. But, I mean, this worst, is the gayest Maybe the worst scene. Batman movie ever. Easily. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me see which Cause one. Because the, the Nolan ones are incredible. He did. Yeah, I think it's. We go from Tony Bennett to Poison. (laughs) No, she was a fox. And I well, she was the only one that really understood what she was doing in that movie. Mm -hmm. Like as a character, she played it up the way I think it was meant to be played. George Clooney was taking it very seriously. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger was in his trailer. Fucking who knows? (laughs) You know. They're all in a different um, movie. Yeah. Keep keep. Yeah, but you know, Clooney. I feel like could have that one, the pink one. He could have been a good. Batman. Yeah. If it was a di- it was a different type of movie. He just doesn't seem tortured, George Clooney. Mm. Right. Yeah, Bruce he, Wayne. They didn't quite. And then, oh, uh, what's her name was in it? Uh, Alicia from Silver Alicia Silverstone. Looks like, this looks like Lion King. This is crazy. <laughs> this is where I was, I was performing like, in Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty gay. Now this that is I'm, gay. But well, then the men, the, the muscular men, they come the out. Nipples on the oh, suit. God, oh, that's so right. Hot. Oh, he's so, so hot. Oh, everyone's hot. But she. I mean, she knew what oh she was God. doing in this role. Uma Thurman. Oh, yeah. She looks great with red hair. She's underrated, I feel. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. not by me, but I, I know what you mean. But, like, Kill Bill is like, does it get any cooler than that movie? No. no. And fucking Pulp Fiction. Oh, this is I love luck. Oh, just you wait, Mark. It gets even gayer. So now we've got all the hot, muscular, steroided <laughs> men coming the out. The grave tagline, just you wait. It gets just even gayer. That's <laughs> <laughs> the name of my book. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm getting uh, chubbed up. Jeez, yeah. Oh, wait. I should be that for Halloween. Yes. Yeah, she's not underrated by my dick. Wait, 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 wait. This is it. Guys are just coming She falls into a bunch of hot men. (laughs) Oh, my God. This is Joel Schumacher. Yeah. This is his fantasy. This looks like Moulin Rouge. This is crazy. It does. (laughs) She's 6'1". Like a body. (laughs) Is she really? Yeah. Really? Pull it up. I know heights. Oh, this is getting gay or gay. <laughs> the audience. Ah! Yeah. It's like The Simpsons. Right. <laughs> right. It's funny and true. Can we play any of this, Matt, on the show? Did she ever go nude? Did she do a Playboy? Oh, yeah. Really? She so. was nude in, um, I can tell you exactly. <laughs> Pull it up. She was nude in Dangerous Liaisons. Thank you. Hi there. Do your, do your worst, Peters. And, uh, and she was you nude in something else, too. <laughs> she shows her tits in Dangerous Liaisons. Oh, all right. I'll believe when I <laughs> we see it. the first time. <laughs> <time. laughs> yes. I'm we got to de-gay a little. We've, we've gone so far. Let me ask you. I, I mean, look around. <laughs> I know you don't speak for the whole gay community, but is Batman and Robin like lo- like actually liked in the gay community? Um, or nice. is it, oh, yeah. Great cans. Um, yeah, I think all superheroes kind of are. I mm, mean, but I don't. That, that's not the, like, the distinction between gay or straight, really. But gays tend to, uh, in my opinion, they tend to sort of lean towards the villains, which are a little more queer coded. Sure, because sure. you get people who are sort of the in between. They're not really like the Riddler. The Riddler, yeah, the sort of misunderstood in between sort of <laughs> outsider. That's why gays love Disney villains right. like Maleficent and Jafar and Ursula and all <laughs> that yes, stuff. Yes, because it was honestly I related more to like a horned bitch than I did like I don't know some prince on a horse right, right. right well what's her name I mean yeah Ursula is so clearly well she was based after Divine the drag oh. queen oh was she really yeah right. you know originally it was going to be Elaine Stritch no it was that. originally supposed to be um, B. Arthur Oh, really? Yes, and B. Arthur was originally supposed to be Elaine Stritch on The Golden Girls. Elaine oh. Stritch fucking wrote But I do think I Elaine Stritch at yeah. one point was going to be in Little Mermaid and dropped out. 
I, I'm pretty sure it was, I'm almost positive it was B. Arthur, B, and then they replaced her with, uh, oh, what's the name? Who's amazing. Her name? I mean, she's, she's amazing. amazing. Doesn't Winnie look like if she had a voice, it would be Elaine Stritch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the attitude. There are a lot of Jewy villains, too. Gargamel. Wait, who's Gargamel? Oh, the Smurfs. <laughs> I never <laughs> watched. You know what? I never watched the Smurfs. What? It must have just yeah, it wasn't my passed thing. me. I did oh, watch okay. it. But I don't remember. I watched when I was five. I remember I told someone in kindergarten I was watching. Pat Carroll, that's me. it. Pat Who did Carole. it? <laughs> yes. That's a great name, Pat Carroll. Pat Carroll, yeah. Uh, Gargamel. Who else is Jewish villain? Penguin in Batman. <laughs> Penguin. <laughs> Well, he's eating a lot of fish. <laughs> That's like body. cold fish. Look at that. There's Gargamel. <laughs> yeah, he's a little Jewish. Come on. Jeez. They're all kind of gay, too, like Jafar. Oh, yeah. oh Jafar is very, very gay. gay. Jafar yeah. is so gay. Yeah, they're like, I want the woman. I'm like, do you? I had a joke. I have. I had a joke about Scar because he sings that song called Be Prepared. I'm like, it's about douche. <laughs> Uh, it I mean, is look true. at that. Come on, that's Ari Shafir. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, though. He's playing on roofing Burt in that picture right there. <laughs> it is true. The villains are always gay because they never want to fuck the woman. They're always just trapping her. For the, <laughs> right, right. It's all that's like- That's true. It's completely non-sexual. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. See, they got the nose thing going. Well, that's Although, just... I will say Maleficent is a- She's outside of the horns and the gray skin. She's very pretty. I, I like how well, some that of was these- Angelina, wasn't it? Yeah, that's oh, right. Not that version. Uh, uh, this version. Angelina Jolie, it's enough. She's, oh, we're talking like I most like how gorgeous a, women ever, her prime. Top on. five all time. Oh okay, God. is she the most Angelina beautiful woman of all time? I would she's, say she's, so. She's in I the convo. So. I think Halle Berry is. She's very she's pretty. She's gorgeous, but she's yeah. More, this, she's more interesting looking, I think, than Halle Berry's like a classic good looking lady. Look at that, that's a crazy she's mug. sexy, dude, come on. I'd put a Natalie Portman in there. I'd oh, put Natalie really? Portman over. Jew? I mean, they're stunning, yeah. but. I'm gonna go classic I, too, like classic. You'll read a Hayworth. Which, I would oh, say young Sophia right. Loren, oh, or Halle Berry. Sing to it, me, sister. Are like the number young Vivica A. Fox was pretty fucking hot. Yeah, she was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I go, with, yeah, I'd probably go with Natalie Portman or her role in Independence Day too is hysterical. There's two of those. Yeah. yeah. The, oh, oh, the second one actually, is schlock. There's something so insulting about the casting of the second movie, which is that in the first movie, the little girl, the president's daughter. Uh, the actress ended up being a very f- successful actress named May. Uh, she was the one May West. Arrested Development. Uh, uh, Maybe got, the the one who's like uh, what's his name? Um, Anne. Yeah, the playing girl. Yeah, and she be, she was in the Duff. She became, but they replaced her for the second movie. They got this other actress who's just more attractive. Uh, even though that girl is had an grown actress. up to become like a very successful no, actress. Wait, you mean we should so look up because I'm curious what you guys think about this. Look up Mae West on YouTube. Uh, Mae West's musical when she was in her late seventies. This is very Joe Biden esque. Um, she they did this musical with her. She's playing a twenty one year old, mm. but she's in her seventies. Oh wow! And if you here scroll down a little bit, it's uh, it's she's in a blue. Sh- you'll see she's that one. This uh, Timothy Dalton. <laughs> this is the most fucking weird thing you'll ever. She's playing a twenty one year old. Oh come on! Don't worry, honey. I'll rub you the right way. <laughs> Look, that's horrible acting. Love will keep us together. Think of me, babe, whenever some sweet talking guy comes along. Oh, God. oh this Sing is horrible. This is amazing. This is what gays love. You really? Yeah. Stop. But I really love you. Mm, stop. I'll be thinking <laughs> of oh, you. This is so in bad. my heart and let love keep us together. Where's the talent? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking bad. You, you Look at her walk away watching this. You belong to me now. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. <laughs> Ain't gonna set you he was Bond. Now. He was hot. Oh, when yeah. Who is that? Timothy Dalton. He was James Bond. Yeah, yeah one of them, right? Yeah. yeah. He looks like James Here Bond. Yeah. You but if you want to ask what a gay man, like when Republicans Stop. are like but gay I agenda, really yeah. it's pretty much this. <laughs> this is the gay agenda. Yeah, I've talked about this a million times, but like you've you seen Brando and, and Guys and Dolls sing Luck Be a Lady, right? Oh. It's so bad, it's good. Pull this up. Dude, just oh. get Brando Luck yeah. Be a Lady. Why wouldn't they replace his voice? Because cause he was, dude, he, by the way, the best part of this is that he gets fucking the lead over Sinatra, who's in the movie. Sinatra's Nathan Detroit. This guy gets the main lead, 
and Brando can't fucking sing, <laughs> but he's so confident that no one wow. gave a shit. And it's actually like, when did he stop caring in his career? When do we think it just kind of goes back and forth? He right. kind of cares, doesn't care, then cares again. Because yeah. when Godfather, he, cares, he was just dude. reading the lines off people's chest. Yes, exactly. Was that Godfather? Go, go yeah. To like, go to like, and he did it for Superman and, and all that. Like nice. Listen to this. Like, yeah, go there. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Are you he talking just, about um, Les Mis? He Awful. Destroys so he destroys when he stars, sings stars, it's, it's unrecognizable. Stars my song. I yeah. sing stars. It's the best it's, song ever. Uh, yeah. We got to watch Russell Crowe's stars. The weird, the weird thing is, like, these are like world class actors, like Russell Crowe, Marlon Brando. But, like, dude, but yeah, but it's like. Yes, you but then they go to the show singing. I always say it. I was like, uh, people are like, well, we need names. I'm like, okay, well, that's like getting Taylor Swift to be a quarterback. Like, right, just, right, right. You know, yeah. are, what's the the skill you have singing is such a difficult skill. You should be at least be able to sing a little. A like, little, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, Sondheim said he'd rather a good actor who's a decent Sondheim singer. Was always upset. <laughs> <laughs> what does he know? What does Stephen <laughs> Sondheim know? Uh, most talented. I'm the straight ever. guy who's got a fucking. <laughs> no, I love Son. Are you kidding? No. Please, my hero. Oh, Ooh. God. Oof. The way of the Lord. Oh, oh, fuck. What you. is he thinking? <laughs> Who let this happen? I saw yeah, this why? In the theater. The They'll have their reward. There we go. <laughs> Is that supposed uh, to be such a big moment. What do you do? I mean, like, what do you do if you're a director on this and, you, and that happens? You cry. No, you take your check. Yeah. But at what point do they like? Why did this let let this happen? Also, they I think they lowered the key. It's they, it's just unre- to be yeah. counted, filling the darkness. I don't think it's it, ruined the song. Yeah, like fall. That's a big moment. Yes, it's, it, it, you're fall, right, right. It's supposed yeah. to be like you know. It's so operatic. This is like the thing with singing, and I'm sure your I'm sure your fans will love that I'm getting into this, but whatever. Right I, I just the, the you 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 use different textures in singing to create different emotion, mm. right? So in that moment when he's like, um, uh, and if they fall, you know, you're supposed to go. From quiet to loud, right? Yeah. So he's just going, and if they fall as loose, yeah, it's not a crescendo. The flame, the sword, uh, uh, the flame, the sword. <laughs> the beauty of Les Mis is it has the best crescendos of any musical, and, and the, the, it ruins that release completely. Yeah. yeah. But you just did it. I got fucking hard. I, the way you did it, no big chill. deal. <laughs> and my chocolate dick is still hard, so <laughs> I've got everyone hard. In the room. That was, a, that's but a that's my cake. favorite. One of my favorite songs. Happy birthday, stars. by the way. Yeah. yeah. Happy birthday, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Stars is is that your favorite Les Mis song? I guess. Yeah, for sure. I love that. So it's my favorite because I used to sing it. It's like perfectly in my. Range. It's a per- It's a great. It's a great. Great. Song. Come on. What about Master of the House? Master. That's of a good the one. I love on my. End. I love on do, my. Own. Do you hear the people sing singing the song of? Well, Andrew why are they man? British? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Hello, we're here in France. Like what? Back oh, then, yeah. British Peter. just meant any other Peter. country. <laughs> but they should have been like, well, they should be talking more France. You know, you be a little bit of Francais. British just sounds better for. But you. it makes sense. We are here in France. We're <laughs> 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 oh, here in France. I think back then, Not yeah. Town. Because <laughs> Nazis all had British accents. I yeah. think back then, I mean, but Romans had British. Yeah. Accents. yeah. Like it's, ancient Romans. It's like Star Wars: The Empire. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Princess Leia had it for like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> her book, by the way, is brilliant. Carrie Fisher, Fisher. Yeah, Carrie wishful Fisher, drinking, uh, wishful drinking. Oh, she talks about her accent. All she's the time. awesome. She's, she's hilarious. Hysterical. So really, funny. she is from beginning yeah. to end. She's a comedian. The book oh, is yeah. funny from beginning yeah. to end. She doesn't let you get serious about anything. She makes fun that. of herself. I gotta, I'm gonna pick that. That's is that a wreck? Yes, a I'm, huge I'm gonna wreck. pick it up. Her personality is so beyond like those Which, performances. Wh- yes, like that she did in the you know. Yeah, yes. totally. Yeah. She was, she's a great. At one point, she's being interviewed and they're like, "Which which book is the one that's the, the, wishful the, the, drinking? Wishful drinking, which is solo." Show. At one kind point, of, yeah, she did a solo show about it. At one point, someone asked her in an interview, "They're like, uh, Carrie Fisher, um, th- this one movie, blah blah blah." And she goes, "Which movie?" And they said it. She goes. I don't remember a day of shooting. I was <laughs> high as hell on that movie. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, she's really funny. She's Debbie Reynolds' kid. Yeah. yeah. Talks all about her mom. They both died at the it. same, like she same died. 24 like, hours. Yeah. Each other. What? Yeah. She died and then Deb, she, uh, Carrie died Carrie and died Debbie, and Debbie had to died a heart attack. Her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's what happened with two talk. divas. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> but even Debbie was funny. You watch interviews with her. She's also very funny. They're very self-aware. Yeah. You know. Wow. Good for the. On uh, my they said own. she never had a never won a scene without a cigarette and a coke. In Star yeah, Wars. she loved. Yeah, she loved 
Coke. She drank Coke. Wait, like time. never want to see. Never like, like, well, like never. I could use a fucking one. smoke, oh, man. You know what I just found I, about Pavarotti it, yeah. is that Pavarotti they had to sew extra um, pockets into his shirts because when he would leave the stage, they would have chicken wings waiting for him, and he would eat them and put the bones in the pockets. <laughs> That's I'm not so white you. trash. That's I love from it. the metro- <laughs> From the Metropolitan wow. Opera, they told me. Oh, that's like a uh, Simpsons joke. I love that. Yeah, with... <laughs> Isn't that great? That's amazing. You love Cracker Barrel? I love, like... There he is, yeah. Reason why legendary pirate Luciano... Oh, they're bones in Secret his... stashes of pasta with him during <laughs> performance. It's true. It well, is true. It was hard to be fat back then. You had to work at it. <laughs> you have to watch reactions. But, you know, I hate reaction videos. They're so annoying. But singing reaction videos I like. And they have a compilation of people watching Pavarotti, and every time he sings, they cry. Wow. They just start weeping. People who've never seen it before, they're like, <laughs> quite the womanizer too. I watched his documentary. He, oh, he, he was did a, very well. He was a piece of shit. I know, but he was fat as shit, but still getting like super. Had wife, had kids, and then had another woman. Had more kids. Had this. I just did whatever he wanted. I, guess I never think about like. I mean, I know singing can be sexy, but I never think of him bellowing and women being like, "Oh, swooning, me wet, They're really going nuts." Oh yeah, you hit a high C. <laughs> yeah, they'll come. They'll come. Did yeah. you all see uh, Sondheim's "Merrily Roll, Roll Along" on Broadway? Oh, it was incredible. Sondheim did uh, the "Ascend in the Clowns," right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, from yeah. Uh, Little Night Music. Yes, and the original singer was in uh, what's her name? She was in Mary Poppins. Cast off the shackles of yesterday. I can't remember. What was her name? Um, anyways, the the song was Ethel to- Merman. No. No. <laughs> Julie Andrews? I love Ethel Merman. I love that she's an airplane. Yes. <laughs> airplane airplane, and Naked Gun are two of like the just Sucker best great. movies ever. Like, I, I think Naked joke, Gun is joke, number joke. one Naked funniest Guns? movie of all time. What is? Really? Yeah. Over Airplane? Air, wait, what's, 100%. what's the funniest really? movie of all time? Naked Gun. Oh. But it, it has it's to be over funny. It's funny, yeah. Why? Because Leslie Nielsen is the funniest part of Airplane, and he's in mo- all disagree. of Naked Gun. Really? Leslie Nielsen's the funniest part of Airplane? He's in like 10 minutes of it. But he's the best part. Oh, Talk and Jive, the Jewish sports pamphlet. I mean, there's a lot of I great mean, stuff. The, like, the autopilot. I like when they scream and the woman just goes like that. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah that but there's, great. there's something about Leslie Nielsen. Like, everyone else in the movie is just deadpan, but there's something about Leslie Nielsen's deadpan that's like, mm, no, way there is. Stop like, calling me Shirley. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, seeing Get a naked gun the whole time. Sure, sure. And it's okay. What, if you had to say, questioning the guy and he and he uh, and the and then it go, the money goes back and forth. That's uh, amazing. I mean that that's like comedy. Oh, right? that's great. Well, he's like he's like where? Why should I tell you? And then the guy he's questioning starts giving him back the money. Yeah, that's fucking gold. It's, it's like Abbott Costello shit. It's yeah. also like oh sorry. Oh, I was gonna say if you had to pick the funniest movie of all time, what is it? Now that's a question. I think Naked Gun. I would say Waiting for Guffman. Oh, that's a fun. Good. Both makes choices. Good ones. Catherine O'Hara. Are we talking objectively or what makes you? Laugh? What makes me laugh? Between okay. me, it's Naked Gun or Big Lebowski. Okay. Oh, interesting. Lebowski makes me laugh hard. Honestly, you know what makes me fucking die? MacGruber kills me. Oh, uh, yeah, MacGruber's yeah. MacGruber just like it just tickles me, man. It's he's just so good. Yeah. That abortion I, part. Yeah. That abortion uh, part kills yeah. me. <laughs> it's fucking. I, we did that on the tour bus last year, and Gary Veter. I've never seen him laugh as hard in my life <laughs> as during the abortion where he describes making the woman getting the... He's like, I don't know why this guy hates me. <laughs> and and the, then it describes him making so him funny. get the woman he loved in abortion. <laughs> and he says it sincerely and it's like... And the like, uh, van blowing up is legitimately shocking. Like yeah. it's actually yeah. like pretty shocking. I would say Dumb and Dumber is up there. Oh, we're just going it's up up flat out funny. Yes. But the most I've ever laughed at a movie is Windy City Heat. Have you ever seen I've that? never seen it. What? I'm, I'm going to watch it. The whole movie's one it. long prank. So it's real. It's a real uh. thing. So it's even funnier because it's really happening. They prank this guy named Scary Perry. who's like a Brooklyn mook. Italian dude. He's homophobic. He's he's uh, just like a womanizer weirdo. And they just prank him. They tell him, you're going to be a big star. We're going to put you in this movie. And it's all a fake movie. So he thinks he's in this movie, and they keep putting like, all right, you're going to kiss the girl in this scene. Oh, the girl's out of town, so we got this guy to stand in. He's like, I'm not kissing no fucking guy. You got to see it. It's incredible. Wait, they're, they're pranking him the whole time? The whole I, I, I've prank. heard from many people this is like one of the funniest movies it's ever. fall down funny because it's really happening. Like this guy is freaking out the whole time, and they keep fucking with him. It's Dude, amazing. you know what makes me laugh so fucking hard is... Not a movie, but anytime I watch like Nathan for you, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a great show. I'm, that's like season. that gets me laugh out loud. Killer. I the, still watch like the, the Golden m- Girls. Golden Girls has a lot <laughs> of jokes in it. It's so Mitchell fucking... Hurwitz, Rest Development. Yeah, was he? Uh, Is that right? I think he was one of the main writers, if not the staff they had, writer. It's my joke, favorite Golden joke. Girls line is B. Arthur goes, uh, Blanche, I'm bowing your earrings. I have a date tonight. <laughs> With a man, no rose. A Venus flight. <laughs> <laughs>
The yard is dry. I have to head out in like 10 minutes. I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, let's, I, let's I, I plug some dates, man. Yeah, what, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm on tour, the Can't Stop Talking tour. Um, can I just read where I'm going to be? Please. Okay. We can pull it up, too. I, oh, great. So, tour dates. I will be... Uh, ooh, okay. I will be in West... Okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in West Hampton August 3rd, Winnipeg August 8th, um, Chicago doing a live podcast, Provincetown August 30th, and oh, then oh, great room. Uh, I w- I'll just Chicago, read Chicago. My... Uh, I'll read off Fort the Lauderdale, about. Atlanta, Cincinnati. Yes, Atlanta, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Milwaukee, Durham, North Carolina, Albuquerque, Dallas, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, uh, Richmond, San Francisco, Sacramento, and if you want to get uh, tickets, go to MateoLaneComedy.com. And I have a new uh, advice special I put out a month ago Ooh, on baby. YouTube, so MateoLaneComedyYouTube.com. So much content. I got to hand it to you. You really pump it out. Thanks. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Ron, uh, on, got Ron, Ron Hershberg's age? got a, a great new special out called Brave on YouTube, so so check that out. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. clips are great. Oh, Ron and man. pumps out hours every five minutes. That's true. <laughs> Thanks, man. Killer, killer material, no dude. <laughs> 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 it's kind of true. Not oh, having a life can really do it. Watch it now. True. It's on YouTube. It's, it's yeah. terrific. Watch my special. Follow me on Instagram, Ron on Comedy, R-A-A-N-A-N Comedy. But mostly just watch my special. Yes. It just came out. Check it out, folks, on YouTube. I got a new special. Uh, oh, do you have, I'm sorry, we new dates? Right on. Dates? Oh, um, <laughs> going after Mateo. This is like uh, someone just took out a bigger dick in the. <laughs> we'll go to Ron's website. No, no, no. I'm taking. You already a, brought the cake out. I'm taking a. I have a couple of days, but I'm taking a break to film a movie. This. Whoa! Week. Oh my God! Congratulations. Yeah. We raised that. like uh, thirty five thousand. It's 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 only twenty five minutes, but it's this the, thriller. Well, why are you talking yeah. down? Be proud right. of this. That's amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, so I'm, working, I'm filming that in August, so I'm focusing on that. All but right. Look out for that. I love it. Fiddler got, on the roof. Yeah, <laughs> I got a new special out on t- uh, Tuesday, so it's uh, it's called "You've Changed." Oh, wow. It's on Prime Video, Amazon. I, I hope you hope you enjoy it. I hope you watch it. Tell your friends. Amazon, you've changed. Sam Morell comedy special, and I'm all over the road. I got uh, you know, I'm doing Hammond, Indiana with Chrissy D. Whoa, uh, Chrissy D. Chrissy D. And and the Mesh is doing that date too. And then we and then I'm in Miami, uh, fucking Prior Lake, Minnesota. Woo. Uh, what else? Oh, Baltimore. Baltimore uh, August 15th through 17th. You can say hi to Kevin Spacey. I'll say what's up. <laughs> Space Dog, come through. You're the man. Hey, Pax. Uh, we got New Brunswick, New Jersey in August uh, 22nd through 24th. Niagara Falls. Oh, that's with side. Chrissy. Yeah. Ooh, London. But, yeah, and then I'm hitting uh, I'm hitting uh, Europe. Oh, yeah. Dublin. Have you been to Ireland before? It's amazing. I have. I, lo- I, was I love it. I love it. Yeah, we got London September 18th and Belfast. Dublin. Ooh. Oh, the Apollo Theater in France is great. I can't wait. That's going to be... And the Mervart. That's great, too. Amsterdam, we added a second show, baby. So I'm I'm doing two there, baby. Uh, Copenhagen, baby. Who am I? Oslo. (laughs) Stockholm. (laughs) The wine's hitting me. (laughs) Stockholm. Punch and follow us on punchup.live yes. slash Samuel, punchup.live slash Mark Norman. Everyone's on punchup. <gasps> you got Mark, that right. Mark, what do you got? Happy New Year. Shit out of me. Hey, Punch Up Live. I'll be in, uh, when does this come out? Sunday. Didn't work. I'll be in Sioux Falls, uh, South Dakota, Cedar Rapids, Rockford, Illinois. Rocky, Rocky. Rochester, By the way, you know she's old that she's not here in this shit. Richmond, Virginia, Greensboro, North Carolina, Anaheim, Thousand Oaks, Reading, PA, Red Bank. New Jersey, Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, St. Louis, Missouri, Atlanta, Georgia, Orlando, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Portland, Oregon, and Toronto, Newport. Come on out. Say hello. Queef it up. Oh, you got a new uh, podcast with Chris D. Oh, Chris DeStefano and I have a new podcast called Teach Me Daddy, and I have another podcast (laughs) with Nick Smith called I Never Liked You. The clips I've seen are hilarious, and... uh, by the way, Bodega Cat Whiskey right. is, is at the Comedy Cellar. It's at the stand. It's going to be at New York Comedy Club soon. It's all over the, the country right now. And it is the premiere. It's the old fashioned. You order an old fashioned at the Comedy Cellar right now. It's with right. Bodega Cat Rye. Work. Ooh, ooh, and ooh, ooh. Uh, you can go to any of the rooms of the cellar the Fat Black, the Village Underground, the, the Olive Tree, anything. And you can get yourself a fucking Bodega Cat. Say hi to Avery. Whiskey. The yeah. hottest bartender Avery. alive. And makes Woo. the best dirty martini in New York City, baby. Here, here. Love those. Fuck. Avery, you make the best dirty martinis. Dan Hall, I love you too. You make good ones too. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, oh, by the way, fucking, you get a strip house dirty martini with those fucking blue cheese. Oh, fucking, about it. I'm. 
Don't dick cake and that. I'll come. Anyway, <laughs> you guys are the best. We love you. Watch uh, watch Mateo's advice special. See these guys on tour. Watch Ronan's new special, uh, Brave. Brave on YouTube. Keep listening. We love you guys. Yeah, happy Goodbye. Fourth. Happy Fourth. Sunday's a day for my next spender. A bit of fever wreck. You know the future's close. I've had a little too much bourbon. And Norman's talking shit about the fucking post. 